do not worry, there's nothing wrong with your screen. This is a joint episode, and what I mean by that is Leela 3D fits into both the worst game search and adults only rated game series. How come I didn't just make two videos on this game? Well, the actual meat of the videos for these series are too similar for me to justifiably do that. The Lula series is mostly developed or published by the German company CDV Software Entertainment, and these games revolve around the character Lula and her involvement in the pornography industry. Insert random demonetization joke here. Oh, sorry, I was just reading from the script, but have no fear, I'm too small of a channel for AdSense anyway. So, will Lula 3D pull out the big breasts and impress me, or will it fall flatter than an A-cup chest? Watch on to find out. Will Lula 3D deserve its adults only rating? Well, watch even further to find that out. The opening cutscene perfectly encapsulates the tone and feeling you'll get for the rest of the game. It's got gratuitous nudity, sex shoehorned in for the sake of it, the appearance of a villain that makes no sense, and a punchline that had everyone in-game laughing but left me feeling awkward and confused. Lula's dog, Dusty, has seen some shit in its days, and you can tell by its completely dead inside looking eyes. I'm pretty sure keeping a dog around a porn mansion could be considered animal abuse because you never know when it might be used in a scene. If I were Lula, I'd be fairly concerned by my dog getting visibly turned on by my nude body, and I think the best cause of action would be to desex or simply euthanize Dusty. The game starts proper with Lula at the porn mansion filming a scene when she receives a call from Brian the producer. I think you need to wipe the lube from your hands, Lula. That way your phone won't be almost slipping out of your hand all the time. While we could all laugh about the phone phasing through her hand like she was the ghost of Pornhub past, we can't ignore the fact that the mobile's battery is missing. This is because attention is brought to this issue when Lula needs to find a battery for it to work. So what? Was Brian yelling at Lula and her pea-brained mind thought the noise was coming from her phone? You'll find out from Brian that the triplets that are meant to shoot a scene today are missing, and so begins this fucked up adventure. Pun inserted, I, I mean intended. Now, throwing in a disclaimer, this video is almost exclusively comprised of sex-related jokes, even more so than my previous videos, so if you want some variety in your jokes, you've come to the wrong place. To boil the gameplay into its most simplest terms, this plays like the typical point-and-click adventure game, but... <sighs> in 3D. You walk slowly around small contained environments, picking up items and speaking to the characters in the area to progress the game. To indicate which items you can interact with, Comic Sans text hovers above these items. The reason for this trudging movement is Lula doesn't own any shoes smaller than 6 inch stilettos, and while there is the option to run, its pace reminds you of the fact that Lula isn't dressed in anything resembling active wear. Luckily, there is an option to automatically run in the menu, so your playtime is cut down by a good hour and your finger isn't hurting from constantly holding in left shift. To use the A or D key will mean Lula will start slowly crab walking in the direction you pressed. Every time you pick up an item or retrieve an item from your inventory, you need to watch an overly long animation of Lula doing that action. Look, Lula, you're already slow enough in the head, I don't need you to be slow with all your movements as well. The over-sexualization of Lula when she bends over to obtain items on the ground is fucking crazy, just look. <coughs> Every item collected is stashed in between Lula's two plastic mounds, and in the end, the item system is just an excuse to show off Lula's four biggest assets. The cover states the game has bouncing boobs technology, but all these women must have bolted on tits, cause that shit on their chest is stiffer than a white person's dance moves. When you check the triplets room, there hasn't been an orgy there like Brian thought, but rather signs of a kidnapping. You find a conveniently left behind matchbook with a club on it, and evidence that the video camera has been tampered with. After telling Brian this, he says, uh, Really? Hmm, uh, I guess I didn't look too closely. I don't believe he's able to properly look at anything because his rubber neck bounces his head around so much. Brian rules out the option of getting the police involved because he's too afraid of most of the cast being arrested. I wonder if the developers believe that porn stars are evil people who only do porn because they love committing sinful acts. The voice actor for Lula sounds like she was paid in orgasms and only men like me were around to fulfill that payment. English doesn't appear to be her first language because she will change the emotional range of her voice in the middle of dialogue in places that don't need these shifts in inflection. So, you're not home. I sure hope you'll be home in about four hours when I come by. I have a few questions for you, and you can start by explaining why you just didn't show up on the set, my friend. 
See you in a bit. The graphics are as lifeless as a necrophilia porno, and really, the game just looks like Morrowind with a blow-up doll as the main character. I believe the blow-up doll insult is justifiable to use because the still image used of Lula in the loading screen could be found on the box of any inflatable female in a sex store. To get information about the club on the matchbook, Brian suggests asking Spandau, the photographer, and since he mysteriously didn't show up today, you try calling him. After finding the number you have written down isn't the right number, and finding out Brian doesn't know it, you go on a wild goose hunt around the mansion to find it. You finally acquire Spandau's number from Lisa, the nude bathing lady next to the pool. The first few times I tried to complete this task, she glitched out on me and I couldn't talk to her, perhaps from having her brain fried from being in the sun too long or having died from cancer. Before you cancel me for saying that, this girl's front half would have been riddled with cancer before I got to her because of the amount of time I spent fucking around the mansion figuratively. The number you receive contains a multitude of sixes and nines in it, and funnily enough, when I looked up this game's Google review ratings, it was at 69% liked at the time of the screenshot. I hope the legions of Lula 3D fans were keeping it at that number so I could get a chuckle out of seeing that. After calling Spandau just the one time and getting no response, Lula decides to drive to San Francisco to check out the club on the matchbook. You head off to Lula's car, and since this game wants to stretch itself out more than Lula's labia, Turns out, you don't have the keys and have to find them. Brian, do you have any idea where my car keys are? I wish Brian would break bad and say something like, Bend over and cough, bitch. That's the 30th time you've asked me for something today, and it's been lost in your snatch the whole time. You end up on another wild goose hunt that ends with Brian having the keys the whole time. Does the constant movement of your head from your rubber neck make thinking a difficult task, or are you just a floor away from Lula's level of stupidity? So begins the sexiest road trip in video game history, now accompanied by Dusty the dog because Brian didn't want him humping his leg. The option to euthanize him is still available, Lula. One of the stranger things within the game is that the 2D artwork of Lula from previous games is plastered around the world to further push how popular her brand is. The reason I find it odd is these 2D pictures of Lula stand out in the 3D environments and Lula acknowledges that this is her. So, did she have so much surgery done that she looks this radically different or did the world of Lula suddenly change from 2D hand-drawn artwork to a 3D polygonal style? That second option would be like if the world was black and white in accordance to how film was at the time and then suddenly coloured as soon as the technology was evolved enough to do so. Another curious thing that I notice is that despite the numerous amounts of times she goes all natural, Lula never takes her heels off. Even when skinny dipping or bootsy dipping would be the term I suppose since she was never fully nude. At first I thought the developers were too lazy to render feet for Lula but then I remembered that other characters have displayed feet so that wasn't the case. In the end, I came to two options for why this was the case. The first being that Lula had spent so much time in these shoes that they had molded themselves to her feet. The second being she has extremely ugly feet. In the first porn shoot she went to, she took off her shoes and after seeing them, the director went, No, no, it, it's fine. You can keep your shoes on for the rest of your porn career. Luckily for Lula, Bandau lives just a few blocks away from the club, so she visits his apartment for information. A key is needed to enter his apartment, and the only man to have a copy is this drunk photographer, Hammett, who drinks nothing less than a 95% proof. As the alcohol Hammett drinks is illegal in most countries for its toxicity to medium-sized mammals, Lula needs to brew up some alcohol. This homeless man drops licorice that is used in the alcohol and drops absolute gems of insults. Get out of here, girl, and put on some decent clothes. Your ovaries will catch cold. I would have complained and said he stole the jabs I was going to use on Lula, but I'm not as clever as that. After entering Spandau's apartment, Lula needs to retrieve yet another key from these cats, and I suppose it's been a while since she's had to chase some pussy. You find the missing video footage from the triplet's room and a letter from the triplet's father. The video footage proves what we already know, which is that the triplets have been kidnapped. Now, I'm not that concerned that these goons used the dildo to smash the camera. I'm more worried that they took it with them, because I sure as hell couldn't find it in the triplets room. Entering the strip club is another problem because the only females allowed inside are employers only. Drop one of the sexist bombs on them. 
Luckily, Sarah, a stripper who was conveniently outside, is willing to help out as long as Lula can prove that the triplets are in need of help. You do this by finding one of the triplets ears with an earring attached and present it to Sarah. Instead of questioning why Lula searched through Mike Tyson's puke and rationally deduct that Lula would be a psychopath to present her detached ear for evidence, Sarah agrees to give you her club ID as long as you buy her a coffee. The security guard lets Lula enter the strip club in the worst disguise that only consists of a wig and ID. I'm pretty sure even Lula would feel embarrassment that there's someone this stupid. The strip club is where the game starts to think it has a story to tell. I would tell you what goes on, but when I've been subjected to all these wacky sex shenanigans so far, I don't give a rat's ass about the boring story that's barely there like Lula's outfit. The whole point of this area is so that you can get the triplet's mother's address from the office of the man whose leg was humped by Dusty in the beginning. The only other point of interest for us is when Lula takes over for a dominatrix and I honestly can't tell if this is meant to be sexy talk or aggressive. Good, you bald-faced corrupt asshole. We've got to talk about your last scandal. Scandal? I'm here because I... Want to shut up? That sounds good. So hold her. Ah, uh, uh, of course, the angel. Okay, which of the ties here was next? Hmm, are you mute? I don't hear a thing. I, I, uh, 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 I, I should shut up? Exactly. I thought of that myself. Maybe we should start over from the top. Hmm? Lula has such strength that she knocks this guy out with a pedal to the ass cheek and the only reason that part existed is so Lula can steal the handcuffs to restrain the security guard for her great escape. The next area is completely pointless as it sees Lula halt the breakneck 2 meter an hour speed of the story so she can have a coffee at a pit stop. The cafe is closed and the man working at the petrol station won't let you get any fuel because he is under the presumption that Lula doesn't need it. Hey mister, how much does gas cost? Since my wife left me, I really don't care. And besides, you're not gonna get gas here, right? Well, um, okay. Don't say a thing. I don't want to hear it. I just don't understand women. Why do you go to a gas station if you don't want to get gas? I just don't understand women at all. How am I meant to understand their cryptic ways? More confusing than a hard crossword puzzle. quite easy to understand, you just need to listen to it. Why are they so confusing? To cheer him up, Lula does the only thing she knows how and goes full Monty for this dude. This breaks the visibly on edge man and he flees, dropping a knife that Lula uses to cut a van's tires. Well, this area isn't completely pointless as it introduces a mini game where the game basically turns into a first person cover shooter, as Lula has to defend herself from the goon with her knife she picked up. Up. Depending on which key displays in the controls before the minigame, you either press A or D to stay in cover and use the mouse to shoot. The weight of Lula's breasts must be too much for her because the cursor wobbles around the screen despite you not touching any controls and being shot only makes the wobbling worse and the screen blurred. Despite your finger hurting from holding down a key to maintain cover and the blurry screen giving you motion sickness, you aren't the only one in pain because Lula's fake breasts can only absorb 10 bullets before the busty buxom goes down. While in the second you have a knife and can fire it an infinite amount of times. In most later sections, you have a gun that you need to reload after six shots. Despite your need to reload, there is no indicator on screen pointing out the amount of bullets left, and you might come out of cover to shoot someone, hear a click, and have your tits shot off. In fact, these shooting sections are so broken, you don't even need to be out of ammo for the gun not to fire. Anyway, Lula heads off after this henchman gets stabbed so much with these knives that he gets knocked out. Maybe Lula did think he was dead after having so many knives thrown at him, so I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. As you're about to leave, get this, Lula doesn't have her fucking car keys. What, did you throw them behind you as you went off to retrieve the coffee and fuel you never ended up getting? Now, I usually don't say this, but Lula is one of the most insufferable characters I've ever had the displeasure of witnessing while playing games. She is the characterization of stereotypical tropes that people assume a blonde porn star would be, which is being dumb and extremely sexual. She never wavers from being the two adjectives just used to describe her, and you can't care about a character that is unrealistically stupid and disgusts you with how promiscuous she is. 
there will be the occasional moment where she will have a smart moment but you can't have your cake and eat it too game you've already established that she has a dripping damp cave for skull contents i think this infrequent tonal shift may be from translation errors and i believe the game is trying to play into a more self-aware comedic style but the delivery of the translated dialogue makes it seem more stilted and unaware i say this because there are moments that are so on the nose like when characters break the fourth wall or situations that are so ridiculously stupid they had to have been playing up these moments for comedy this theory goes straight out the window when you see a sex scene a pivotal moment in this i suppose because you start to question if this level of ineptitude could be self-aware in the first place i find it hard to believe that anyone involved in this game had any experience with sex beyond what they saw scrawled in public bathrooms now you're going to have to believe me when i say this because i'll need to censor it to appease youtube but in no sex scene does any character actually get near each other during sex just hovering a few inches away what i mean by that is if Lula's unfurled rug is being munched on, the other character is not near her vagina and visible space can be seen in between. I don't know why your moaning Lula is getting your clitoris blown on making you climax. The character models frequently clip into each other during these scenes and mashing two nude Barbie dolls could produce a more realistic sex scene than these. Another unrealistic thing with the sex scenes is that there is no penetration as every penis is flaccid and I was only looking at cock in case a joke could be made about it. I was screaming no home the whole time I was salivating, um, staring. There are couples found around the areas that are infinitely fornicating. So with the knowledge that all these dudes are whacking their limp junk against these poor girls, I think it's time to invest in Viagra. After trying to enter the cafe again, Lula runs into Gina, who just robbed the place and somehow has Lula's key. Gina has a promising life of grand theft whatever the fuck she pleases if she can lift a set of keys from someone without ever being rendered into the scene. Lula's dedication to saving the triplets is so strong that she will willingly drives Gina away from the pit stop, becoming an accomplice to crime. While driving, Gina must have planted a few law-breaking seeds into Lula's head because when they are pursued by police, Lula engages in a shootout with them. Fuck. No wonder they didn't want the cops to be involved at the porn mansion. Porn stars must be the biggest criminals out there. I can see you can take care of yourself. Arriving in Las Vegas armed with only the address, you need to use a less than conventional method to enter the triplet's mother's apartment as she isn't responding to the doorbell. By flinging tomatoes at the triplet's mother's window to get her attention, the only other minigame is introduced to help complete the task. Similarly to the other minigame, this is completely in first person and you aim the reticule with the mouse, holding down the left mouse button to start powering up your throws. The bar near the bottom of the screen indicates how powerful each shot is and letting go of the left mouse button and throws the object. You get 10 shots before failing and needing to restart. You also need to hit the target three times and aiming above the target combined with powering up your throws as much as possible allows you to hit most times. Despite smashing one of her windows, the mother lets Lula inside and this should have been a sign to Lula that the mother wasn't all there before she found her hearing aid in the fridge. After a few deaf jokes were closed captioned for us to enjoy, a dialogue dump is given updating the story. The triplet's father was a thief in a group with Spandau and Stanley, the strip club owner, and they stole three precious dolls. The father stole these dolls and gave them to his daughters, but then he re-re-stole them and hid them across America. You find out that this Christian mother had to strip and alter her body to continue working in the industry to support her children after their father left. In this universe, is the immediate thought process for everyone's solution sex related? I forgot to mention that the triplets doing hardcore pornography are also devout Christians. After finding some photos in her apartment to progress the game, you head to a photography store to find out more information about them. You've probably noticed this, but the character models get progressively worse the further you get through the game. Not that she is anything special, but Lula's model is quite detailed in comparison to the other models and clearly had the most work put into. Most people have flat heads, clearly contradicting the game title, and later characters have such box-like appearances you can almost see the connecting lines that make up their bodies. It's kind of sad that you can get this lazy with creating models. Some people barely resemble the hot person that they claim to be as. To offset the declining quality of the lip syncing matching dialogue, characters will perform wild gestures to distract us from how shit the mouth animations are. The problem is these gesture animations are looped, and dialogue goes on longer than the animations, so you see the same 20 second loop over and over, resulting in hilarious movements that don't match up with what is being said. One thing I love is how horrible it looks when Lula is holding an item because the developers were hoping you'd be distracted by Lula's ass 
fast so much you wouldn't see items clip through her fingers. It looks even worse in cutscenes because with Lula waving her arms around so much, it seemed like the object could fly out of her hand at any moment. Coming back from the photographer, you can clearly see the black van parked outside the apartment, but Lula just waltzes on in. Damn! No you won't. Because you have about two seconds to live. Hey, damn it, how did you... Ow! I can see you can take care of yourself. You find out the doll is up Jefferson's nose at Mount Rushmore, and you'll never guess how this is retrieved. If you guessed, steal a catapult from the souvenir shop owner's trunk and fling Dusty at the memorial's nose using a mini game, then you'd be correct. Look, I know I jokingly said Dusty was abused earlier, but that didn't mean I wanted it to become true. So after painfully piecing himself back together and putting all his bones back in their joints, Dusty retrieves the doll and gives it to Lula. Lula gets Gina to get information on the next place to go by flirting with the store employee. Yesterday I saw two white flying elephants and talking about Einstein's theory of relativity. They're nice and big and very nicely packaged. Hey, you bad boy. I mean the picture. What picture? I only have eyes for the twins. Which twins? Those two gorgeous firm tits you're carrying around with you. How flirting with a gay man worked is yet another tally on the list of things that confuse me in this game. One thing that is brought up infrequently that makes no sense to me are people mentioning how old Lula is. While I may rag on her character model, by no means does Lula look aged, and compared to the absurd looking people that make up the cast of this game, you can at least approximate an age for her. Maybe her breasts aren't the only thing augmented, and Lula is a 50 year old woman with a remarkable amount of surgery done on her face, with her dated fashion sense making her stand out as aged. The next doll is located at a cowboy themed movie set and I really hope animal cruelty isn't normalized in this universe. After asking around about the triplets, you notice Gina is missing and find her in a church falling on the director's bell under a bell that's about to fall. This rings a bell for Lula, so she grabs a gun from the props department, shoots down the bell with the doll in it, and this gets retrieved by the talking monkey. Yeah. I wonder if Lula went to a military school, cause damn is she proficient with firearms. If she was a male, she'd be like dude perfect with the cum shots. The long arm of the law catches up to the pair and they solve this problem with the only solution they have. Let's just say Lula and Gina fuck the cop so hard that they forgot to convert this German text to English in this transitionary scene. Just before they realize they've got no way of finding the last doll, the pair receive a call from one of the triplets and they meet up. Chrissy tells them she escaped from a beauty farm and Lula waits until the next day to check it out because she wants to fuck the brains out of Gina, metaphorically speaking of course. After finding Spandau at the beauty farm, he tells you his plan of surgically removing faces and letting out Chrissy to draw in Lula and well, none of this plan makes sense anyway, but since I haven't been doing a sufficient job in keeping you up with the story, let's just say the group is surrounded by some goons. After being knocked out with chloroform, Lula wakes up in the middle of the street vividly hallucinating, and I wonder how Lula even got out of that situation. Look, if I started seeing a 50 foot nude woman walking around, I'd probably stop getting my chloroform from my drug dealer. It's very fitting for the end of a porn related game to end on 5 stages of the shooting mini game that wraps up with a boss fight against Spandau and Stanley. This is the worst section of the game, as the areas you fight in are so cluttered you can barely see the enemies. Cardboard cutouts of civilians pop up for you to avoid shooting at and further clutter the screen. Later in the stages you are required to shoot a skeleton cardboard cutout. However, the descriptive text says a little devil is to be taken care of, so that's a big fuck up in the translation department. The game ends back at the porn mansion with Lula telling the girls that Spandau and Stanley received jail time, despite her shooting them the fuck up. I think Lula is still tripping hard because she tries to drink out of an empty glass and only sees two of the triplets. Dusty, look what mummy has for you. I had some snide remark to make about this, but if I did that for all the dumb shit that happened in the game, we'd have a 3 hour long video on our hands. Let's wrap this the fuck up, like you men should be doing if you're having premarital sex. In conclusion, 
Lula 3D sucks and blows more than the game's titular character, but like plot lines in most pornos, it's so bad that it's good. The core gameplay stays at a consistently mediocre level of enjoyment, with the bizarre puzzle solutions and cringe-inducing dialogue serving as this game's only form of entertainment, despite these wavering between comically endearing and frustratingly annoying. In short, you'll be laughing at the game more than you'll be laughing with it, and it does think it'll be making you crack up a lot. In fact, the game as a package is bland and Lula 3D doesn't become entertaining until the conventional aspects of game design are broken, that is if we aren't including the annoying to play mini games. That being said, Lula 3D rises up to be one of the better ranked games so far on the list and really could be titled the video game equivalent of the room. Don't go away just yet because I'm sure you're on the edge of your seat wondering if I think this deserves an adults only rating. So take it away partner. Well, it's still me talking here in this segment, so let's get to it. Lula 3D received an adults-only rating, and blood, nudity, strong language, strong sexual content, and violence were the reasons cited. I'll add use of tobacco and use of alcohol to the content descriptors due to cigars being smoked by the strip club owner and there is alcohol consumption in the San Francisco streets and strip club. Mature humour will also be added as this game is just littered with adult humour. The violence in the game is mostly PG and the goriest thing in the game is Dusty exploding into an unrealistic splatter of blood after being thrown at Mount Rushmore. Swearing within the game isn't excessive and most of the bad language comes from the informal reference to sexual acts, which comes to the game's two biggest reasons for getting the rating, the nudity and sexual content. Despite being unrealistic as all hell, there are multiple sex scenes throughout the game and Lula gets naked at the drop of a hat, with every area containing nudity from other characters. The references to sex, both explicit or implied, are featured in almost every conversation and the world Lula finds herself in is made up of sexual connotations. For the first time, I believe that yes, this game rightfully deserves its rating of adults only just because of the fact that it limits how many people are able to play this sorry excuse for a game. On a more serious note, the nudity is quite excessive. I've never seen a game where NPCs just stand around in the nude and really, with a game with sexual references and porn woven into its DNA, how could it not deserve this rating? Well, I'm off to bleach my eyes, you if know how- If you or someone you know is cutting themselves or you suspect self-injury, don't be ashamed. Long Dong John, or whatever. You want banging? I'm good banger, yeah. That's nice, Longy baby. I'm happy you're paying attention in the language class. But it would be better to say, Hello, my little chickadee. Would you like a roll in the hay? Hey, no way. You want banging. Forget it. You're not getting me in the right mood. 